Hi, my name is Petra Patterman. I'm from Kitchener, Ontario. I'm 28 years old and I would love nothing more than to have a chance at being the next Much Music VJ. I have to be honest with you, I have never interviewed any artist in my life. But I did a little research on an indie band here in Kitchener named The Sound Foundation. I had an opportunity to meet with two of the band members and they have agreed and invited me to their home to do an interview with them. So what better way to prove myself to you than sharing my first interview experience with Much Music. Before I go in, I'm going to leave you with one of their clips. Check it out. Before we get started, I'm going to introduce Adrian Schmidt, who does the lead vocals, Matt Cattell, who plays the lead guitar, and for those who don't know, Devin Crosman is the bassist, Mike Holtham, the drummer, and Nate Payne, who plays the saxophone and also does the background vocals. Now, I did a little research and found that the Sound Foundation formed in early 2007, which wasn't too long ago. Can you tell me about like how you guys started? Well, basically me and Adrian met in high school and we started playing and recording music together. And then uh, went our separate ways for a period of time there. And when we both came back, we decided to get together and make more music. And uh, we basically did an acoustic act for a while and then came time that we wanted it to be a full band. So we called some people that we knew from high school and uh, got ourselves a band hall and started it up. And how did you decide on a saxophone player? Uh, that came up a little while later. That was probably a year into it. That was, uh, uh, that was our friend Danny Drew. Well, like we went to high school with Nate Payne, who plays saxophone. But uh, we'd seen him at the boathouse where we always went to play because it's down the street from us. And we always seen him there playing saxophone. And then a couple people, well, our one friend mainly, Danny Drew, who played in another band, the Droops. He sort of suggested, like, you should get Nate to play. Kept on saying it, and then we were sort of hanging out together a couple of times, just like, whatever. And then uh, he started just jamming with us. and Started out as a, a guest on one show, and then basically after that, it was set in stone that he would join the band. Oh, wow. Now, I read that you guys received first place in the last band standing competition with Wilfrid Laurier University. Describe how that felt. I was pretty surprising because uh, we didn't win anything in the first round of the competition and then we got wild carded into the final round and uh, oh, wow. ended up taking it home so it was good. We got some cash for the band and we got to uh, have an opportunity to play a show at Mohawk College in Hamilton where we ended up hooking up with a few bands that we now play with regularly so it was, uh, it was good all around. It was wow. really uh, interesting too because uh, some of the bands that we uh, played with especially in the uh, final round of the uh, competition were like really crazy good so mm -hmm. it felt like really good to uh, know that we were even comparing with some of these bands that to me were like astounding you know. 
Now you guys perform in Kitchener quite regularly and uh, recently started performing in Toronto. How did that happen for you guys? Um, well, for playing in Toronto, we just sort of started sending out emails and sending out press packs and uh, CDs to just different bar owners and things in the GTA. And then uh, once we started booking shows, it uh, just was easy from there, you know what I mean? You just you get confident talking to different people and trying to make things happen for your band. And it's been like a different sort of a different world playing in Toronto for us too because uh, it's definitely a better music scene in Toronto than in Kitchener. It's a bigger music scene. It seems like every time we play Toronto we're getting more and more people coming out from Toronto to see us. Uh, a lot of fans of good live music out there. Do you find that a lot of your fans from Kitchener do follow you to Toronto? Absolutely, yeah. We've, uh, we've actually had a few bus trips oh, up wow. to Toronto where our fans pay to get on the bus and then you know, free show in Toronto or whatever and then come back here. Um, when we don't have the bus trips, people tend to drive up to see us. So, Who writes these songs? I write most of the songs. What would you say the songs are mainly about? Um, all types of things, like sometimes like it's just about nothing, we're just having fun and just make up lyrics, you know what I mean? Or just girls? Always. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd like to thank you guys for letting me do the interview, and before you kick me out, I'm just going to ask that you say, vote for Petra. Vote for Petra. Vote for Petra. And that you leave us with one of your acoustic tunes. You can do that. Okay. Girl, you didn't come home last night. I don't even wanna know why. Babe, you've been fooling around. You should leave, stop treating me. Like a clown Ooh It hurts so bad Girl, you've been driving me If you would like to know more about Girl, the Sound Foundation Visit their website at www.thesoundfoundation.com You can also visit their MySpace and Facebook page and keep up on Why any current events. And if you're still interested, the Sound Foundation is hosting an open mic night every Thursday at London's Downtown Kitchener. So come and join them. I'm Patrick Patterman, your host for today. Thank you. Well, what I have to say, what I truly enjoyed about my first interview was the research I had to do on this band. I realized that there is much more to it than just asking questions. I really had to connect with the band, I had to show interest and at the same time stay focused. This has definitely been a challenge and I'm ready for it. Thank you Much Music for this experience. Even if I don't get to be the next VJ, I had a lot of fun researching and getting to know Adrian and Matt.